On the Husqvarna Viking Ruby Royale, the toolbar across the top is where you will get to all your stitches, alphabets, um, information, everything. And so I want to familiarize you with the different areas. You will have the stitch menu. The stitch menu we'll use to get to different stitches. Each group of stitches will have, some of them will have sub menus, so page one and page two of different stitches. The next is the font menu, where you can select fonts. When you're in the embroidery, there will be more embroidery fonts showing. You'll have file manager, where you can save and retrieve stitch combinations, stitch settings, and embroidery designs. On the Ruby menu, it will drop down for more options for a set menu. This is where you set up the machine for the way you like it to sew. And then there's multiple areas, sewing settings and so forth. We'll go through that in a whole nother video. You also have under the Ruby menu, the sewing advisor, where you can set the machine to do your different fabrics and different techniques. And it will pick the right stitch and set everything up for you. That's like having your own little sewing helper right there on your screen. And also in the Ruby menu, you'll also have the information menu. This is your entire manual and tutorials right here at your fingertips by letter. So you can scroll down or you can jump to the letter that you wish to. So if you want um, T for tension or S for saving my designs, you can go and read about everything. So that is a wonderful place to work in. You also have your quick help. This little question mark, when you touch it, it blinks. And that means you can touch any stitch, function, or picture on your screen and find out what it means. So if you don't know what to look it up under in the information section, use the quick help and touch it. For example, what is this little pile of spaghetti here? Oh wait, that's for free motion techniquing and opens a window where you can select free motion and make your machine uh, not put the foot all the way down on the fabric. You can tell it which free motion foot you're actually using. So that's right there at your fingertips. So quick help is wonderful. This little guy, when you touch it, it's going to move you over to the embroidery world. So if your screen changes and you go, well, where's my sewing stitches? You might have touched right up here and got into the embroidery. You don't have to have the embroidery unit on to go over here, set things up, save them. You can actually do that for quite a while before it says put a hoop on, which is kind of nice. You also heard a little click. That was the feed dogs lowering because it takes you, does that when you go to the embroidery menu. Touch it again, and it'll slide you back to your sewing side. So your toolbar is the most crucial part of this machine because it's going to be how you get around to all your stitches.